We're going to solder a wire lead to this potentiometer. This potentiometer has three terminals. They are numbered. Uh, in our case, it, it won't matter. Uh, the solder lugs are going to allow us to create a mechanically sound joint with the wire. So first thing I'm going to do is simply grip that into the third hand tool and position it. And now I'll take my wire lead. I'll strip it back approximately a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. And let's go ahead and grip that in the third hand tool. Clean the solder iron of oxide residue and residual solder as much as possible. Create a small pool of solder on the iron tip which will conduct heat into the bottom side of the part. I feed the solder into the top and tin the lead. What that allows us to do is to take this wire and we can bend a hook into it. Now we take this hook very simply and place it over the one of the posts whichever one we're soldering to now we can line everything up with our third hand tool and the idea will be to create a solder joint as rapidly as possible without getting an undue amount of heat into the component the wire is pretty robust but the potentiometer could be fragile so I've cleaned my iron tip again I'll just create a tiny bead to help conduct the heat I'm going to put heat into the wire and the lug then feed in solder I may even come at this from the second direction and you'll see it's created a very nice uh, solder joint here So this can obviously be repeated for the other two wires. The three could then be tie wrapped together to create an additional um, support for each of them. Then we would want to tie off the bundle to the structure which mounts the potentiometer relieving strain from this joint. This is going to be susceptible to vibration.